Fox News confirms that Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe is leaving the agency. The news coming about 24 hours before President Trump is set to deliver his first State of the Union address. Let's go outnumbered overtime. I'm Harris Faulkner. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts breaking down from the North Lawn outside the White House this big breaking news. John? Harris, Harris, good afternoon to you. And it looks like this took the White House by surprise. Uh, talking with folks in the comm shop, they learned about this from seeing it on television. So it appears that there was no prior notice that was given to the White House by either the FBI or the Department of Justice, though we were able to confirm it very quickly with the Department of Justice. So clearly they were in the loop on all of this. President Trump for months now has been sort of casting sidelong glances at Andrew McCabe back in December, tweeting, quote, how can FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, the man in charge, along with Leak and James Comey of the phony Hillary Clinton investigation, including her 33,000 illegally deleted emails, be given $700,000 for his wife's campaign by the Clinton puppets during the investigation. And then the president more recently tweeting, FBI Director Andrew, F FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is racing the clock to retire with full benefits. 90 days to go. So our, our understanding of this is that Andrew McCabe is stepping down and will leave the FBI immediately, though he is taking what are called terminal benefits. Uh, which means he's basically taking any vacation, sick days, uh, whatever paid leave that he has accrued, which will take him to March so that he will retire with full benefits. Now, we don't know what changed between last week and today for the FBI deputy director to suddenly announce that he's stepping down. But we do know that the FBI director, Christopher Wray, uh, who was uh, you know, appointed by the president not too long ago, was up on Capitol Hill yesterday viewing the, uh, the four-page classified memo on FISA abuses that was written by the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence uh, Chairman Devin Nunes and uh, Trey Gowdy from Government Oversight as, as well. So we don't know if, if that played into it or not, but uh, certainly something changed between last week and today that, that uh, Andrew McCabe is stepping down suddenly. Now, McCabe was the subject of some news reports last week that the president, during an Oval Office meeting with him, after James Comey had been fired and McCabe was going to replace him, the president allegedly asked McCabe, who did you vote for, looking sort of for an indication of loyalty. And then, according to one news report, uh, went uh, not ballistic, but certainly uh, was fairly tough on McCabe for the fact that his wife, Jill, had taken an enormous amount of money from a PAC that was associated with the former Virginia governor, Terry McAuliffe, for her campaign for the Virginia Senate. Now, the White House said, no, at no time did the president ever ask McCabe who he voted for, and that the whole reference to Jill McCabe and Terry McAuliffe was brought up in the context of, well, how's your family doing? And then it was sort of a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, your wife, she was the one who's got the close relationship with Terry McAuliffe. The, the other big question in all of this is the deputy attorney general at the Department of Justice, Rod Rosenstein, report out today that this four-page memo, again written by uh, Congressman Nunes and Gowdy, apparently talks about Rod Rosenstein. He's the guy who is in charge overseeing the special counsel investigation at the Department of Justice. And is there some sort of an attempt to try to get Rod Rosenstein out as well? Don't forget, with all of this swirling, Harris, there is mm -hmm. also the Michael Horowitz. He's the inspector general at the DOJ report that's coming out at some point, and this goes into the whole thing about the text and allegations of improper behavior by many senior people at the FBI. So we don't know exactly what played into McCabe leaving today, but all of that is swirling around this case. Yeah, so a couple questions for you. One, a source familiar to Fox News is saying that it would be more accurate to say that McCabe was removed, notwithstanding the good information that you gave us explaining his leave time and how this was the last date potentially before he'd be able to be eligible to take that. But that is an interesting component in this. It really is. And you don't know, did they wait until today? Was, was this die cast over the last few weeks or even several days? And then they waited until today when they could trigger this terminal benefits provision so that he can retire in March with full benefits? Or was it suddenly that he decided that today was the time he had to go? Uh, clearly, we're going to need to do a little more yeah. digging to find out the circumstances surrounding this. But, you know, al already on, on Twitter, and, and some of this is coming from the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., uh, complaints that uh, that McCabe is is running out the clock, if you will, uh, to his benefits, and, and that means that uh, he'll retire with the full FBI benefit package, uh, which will be uh, a lot of taxpayer money that will be going to Andrew McCabe uh, over the next, uh, you know, who knows how many decades. 